my favorite technique for women. And I kind of hinted at it and, and too much information. As you get a little more intimate in a relationship closer with a man, I don't mean sex. I'm telling you, slow down on the sex thing. Uh, you just basically, these guys, they all think they're entitled to sex because women are giving it out. Okay. It's kind of like, well, that woman had no problem. I mean, she gave me head the first day. What's the big deal here? You know, <laughs> and it's like, you know, you just go slow with it. That's it. Go slow. He has to earn his way in, so to speak. But really, it's getting to know you and you're getting to know him and you're feeling safe with him. And he's, you know, uh, seems like a really good guy. You like him a lot. You, you find him interesting. He's curious and your heart is open to him. Then your body really wants him to connect more on a physical level. What I see is that women have very low self-esteem. Uh, who feel very insecure. They get with a guy and they feel like unworthy inside. Oh, why would he love me? I'm not, I'm an awful person. And so therefore I'll do whatever he wants and I'll do whatever he wants and then he'll love me. And that could all be subconscious. That's called low self-esteem. And so suddenly you become seductive and sexual and I'll give it out and look at me and all this. This is all very low self-esteem. Now, not all women who put out like that have low self-esteem. They're just looking at the competition. <laughs> I mean, they're really just looking around like men expect it. And, and it's hard to, when men are expecting it and everybody else is giving it out to feel like you've got value and being true to yourself, which is go slow with this thing and let it unfold one layer after another, after another, after another. Let there be a relationship that grows in intimacy as opposed to expecting it right away. It's like a seed in the garden. It doesn't turn into a plant overnight. You have to water it and nurture it and take care of it. And then it grows. It gets a little bigger, 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 bigger. Let that happen. So I'm, I'm a big, big fan of going slow. Uh, you know, if I was talking to other guys, I wouldn't talk this much about it. They feel like I'm betraying them. But ironically, a lot of guys today that I know more and more in their 50s, they're kind of saying, wait a second, I'm going to go a little slow here too. Uh, because they're not just um, – uh, a younger man, this is part of sexuality in men, is we have a life force, and, and that life force has to flow in different ways. And the more accomplishment you have, the more cultured you are, meaning there's different outlets for your creativity, then that energy can flow in different ways. But when you're immature and you don't have a lot of confidence, you don't have a lot of different ways to express yourself, sexuality is a way the most primitive brain can express that aliveness and so forth. So these younger guys are all, all into having sex. So here's your phrase to use magic phrase for men who want it and you're ready. You're not ready to give it and you don't want it yet. Really? You, you that's the key is you do it when you want to do it. Authenticity. So at this point, um, uh, and of course authenticity doesn't mean, well, I'm authentically insecure. So I'm going to do this. no, <laughs> <laughs> authentically authenticity is that you know i've got this immature insecure part of me i'm not going to indulge it you know i'm a higher being i've got more awareness here but i have some wisdom uh in my life so here you are with some wisdom knowing from past experiences that jumping into bed doesn't always work for you then that's your authentic message you can just say to a guy he's making the moves is oh yeah i need to slow down now and you kind of go he goes why don't you want it? Oh yes. Every cell in my body wants it, but it just hasn't worked out for me. And I just need to go slow. I hope you can respect that. Ah, what can he say? And, and, and then what you said in that phrase, I just want to point out being a man is he'll hear that one little thing. Every cell in my body wants to have sex with you. <laughs> he goes, okay, I did it. <laughs> and I'm just looking for the recognition that, that you want to have sex with them. Men so much want to feel that they're wanted. It's, it's a, a needy thing. But if they don't earn that, uh, then they become weak and they lose commitment and so forth. It, you ha it has to be when you truly are ready because you want to do it because he's a wonderful guy and you want to share more of your life with him and he's special and so forth. Then you're willing to share all of who you are with him. Because when you have sex, it's very different for men and women. When a man has sex, men can be turned on to tons of women that I'm not even interested. I mean, God, look at this. I, a guy can look at all the internet porn. He would never, ever, after having a conversation with any of those women, would ever want to talk to her again. But he'll have sex with her once. And that's the, that's the system that they found is that men don't go back. Okay. They, if they have sex right away, they move on to the next. They move on to the next. And why is that? Because, first of all, they'll have sex with anybody, practically. But the second thing 
is it's less known is that when a man has sex, he, it's very intimate for him. He gets really close. Suddenly his oxytocin levels increase five times and oxytocin inhibits testosterone. So that's why he goes to sleep. That's why he tends to pull away after sex. He can't breathe. You know, there's a tendency of withdrawing. Whenever men withdraw, it's they're needing to rebuild testosterone. They're trying to pull away from the influence of estrogen. And so it's a natural process. So let men pull away. Encourage them to pull away. Don't rush the closeness. Instead, send text messages of pictures of you being happy without him. And that's counterintuitive for women. They think that, oh, if I'm showing him I'm happy without him, he'll think I don't love him that much. I mean, some women actually think that. And on a deeper level, maybe many more feel that way, which is when he's in his cave, when he's pulled away, I should be unhappy. I should be missing him. I should be sorry. Because if a woman is pulling away, she wants to feel like he's missing you and I can't, I can't live without you. And what do I have to do to get you open again? That makes you feel all special. Uh, when a guy pulls away, the best thing, and some of these needy guys, they're, they're, uh, I write about them in Conscious Men, they're more in touch with their female side. So one part of them is saying, well, how could you go out and have a good time? You ignore that message. Ignore his female side. You're strong in your female side. Hey, I'm not just about having a relationship with my life. I have with you. I have a life. You know, your dessert. I mean, really look at men as dessert. Don't make them the main meal. If you make a man the main meal in your life, you're regressing back to these traditional relationships that don't work anymore. And that's where a man's going to put you in a box and you can't get out. And you certainly don't want that. Uh, but you do want a man. And so you think that, okay, I'll pretend to get in that box, but you'll die in that box. Women today want to have both sides of them. It's a masculine side and a feminine side. They want their independence. They want their dependence. They're afraid of their dependence. And what the way you find by connecting with your dependent side, your emotional side, your vulnerable side, you're going to experience inner dependence. And so one practical takeaway, again, is once you're more close to a guy, then you start doing this technique where you get together and you go, oh, I'm so glad to see you. I just want to talk about my day for you know a few minutes, maybe 10 minutes, start with five, and just start talking about problems. And then he'll want to interrupt and say something like, oh, you should do this. Oh, no, no, I just, I just need to vent this, and I'm going to feel so much better. You, know, you don't have to say anything. I just need to get this out. And then get it out, talk about some things, too much information about complaints that have nothing to do with him. And when you complain about things that have nothing to do with him, he thinks, man, this woman, I can make her happy. You know, she's great. You know, her problems are so little. Uh, this is little stuff, you know, not this big stuff. And anything about him becomes big stuff. And that's what women don't understand as well. They look at a guy and they say, could you just put your shoes over here? And you're telling him what to do over little stuff. In your mind, you're thinking, well, it's only little stuff. In his mind, if you cr criticize little stuff, it negates all the big stuff he's done. It's like, hey, I'm the president of the universe. You know, don't tell me where to put my shoes. And, and so you don't understand because you're not a man. You have to understand that any kind of correction to men comes across as criticism. Unless it's a big problem, then we understand. Well, it's a big problem. It makes sense to me. I was two hours late. I can see I upset you. <laughs> and you want to win big points with a guy is don't even be upset about that. Just say, oh, my gosh, you know, you must have really been busy. You know, just something complimentary even. And the guy's going to think you're an angel in heaven. And next time, because he's thinking you're an angel in heaven, he's going to try harder to be there on time. It's, it's often just so confusing if you don't understand this whole dynamic of the way men's pleasure system, his motivation system, his uh, happiness system, which is what regulates stress levels, is totally different from a woman's. And yet on another level, we're all just the same. Okay, you know, women can do math, men can be parents, men, men can be mothering, nurturing, supportive, all that good stuff. We have potentials in our brain to use different parts, but what we don't have the potential to do is to change our hormonal system. 